I think a big problem we have in Birmingham, it's happening everywhere actually at the minute, we have a lot of artisan coffee shops <laughs> full of kyunts. <laughs> I've started putting the letter Y into swear words. I don't know why, it just makes me happy. Let's get fucked up, it just makes me happy. I don't know why. <laughs> you know the sort of places I'm on about. Shoreditch, full of them. The sort of places, they've got like distressed wood, that kind of thing. <laughs> and they'll serve flat whites, that's the drink. They'll often say things like, we support local artists. And you know that, because the art on the wall is shit. <laughs> There's dozens in Birmingham now, dozens. They're all shit. There's one I quite like. It's called York's Cafe Bakery. And they do an avocado and feta smash. <laughs> A very aggressive word, I feel. <laughs> what is essentially pressing with a fork. <laughs> Avocado and feta smash! And uh, for one pound, I think it is, one pound fifty extra, you can get a poached egg on top. Lovely way to start the day. I went in recently, I said to the girl, I said, I'd like the avocado and feta smash, please, with the poached egg. And she went, oh, we don't do the egg anymore. <laughs> and I said, why is that? And she went, the kitchen was struggling to cope. <laughs> When I hear the phrase, struggling to cope, <laughs> I think of, I don't know, a single mother trying to juggle a career, childcare, heartbreak. I don't think of someone cooking a fucking egg. <laughs> so I'm boycotting there now, I'm boycotting there now. But I do, I do occasionally send them an email. <laughs> just, just with the subject line, struggling to cope. <laughs> and a picture of me cooking an egg. It took me ages to get that picture right. I did like 40 on the phone. <laughs> we've got now as well, we've got a, we've got a 24 hour Starbucks in Birmingham. Nobody asked for one, we've got one. <laughs> the staff at 4 a.m. genetically closer to a moth. <laughs> I went in at 4 a.m. It's the only the ones. I came back late from a show. I thought I'll treat myself, I'll have a hot chocolate. Guy behind the counter obviously couldn't cope with daylight or anything. Because he's like, can I take a name? And I said, yeah, it's Joe, can I ask why? He went, just in case the order gets confused. <laughs> Looked around an empty Starbucks. <laughs> I shuffled along to the service counter. Took him ages to make it. And then he went, hot chocolate for John. <laughs> so to make a point, I just waited. Well, <laughs> John will be here in a minute, won't he? Oh, he loves a hot chocolate, our John. <laughs> <laughs>